Um, I know this has uh, brought up some, uh, also some other changes around residential dwellings, uh, service equipment, and emergency disconnects. And uh, Chad, I know that we've had some discussions too amongst all of us on that. How about uh, you go ahead and uh, lead off that discussion for us? Yeah, thanks, Phil. So service equipment is is really seeing a major a major overhaul in the 2020 NEC, and it's all in the name of safety. As we look at the first set of changes for line side barriers, that's in 230.62C, and what we see is we had an expansion in the 2017 NEC to include panel boards. Uh, to existing requirements for switchboards and switchgear to have line side barriers. So that gives you that protection on the utility side uh, in the residential setting. Now this moves beyond that to require this for any service equipment. So you have other products such as transfer switches, safety switches that have suitable for use as service equipment ratings and are used often as a service equipment in residential that now will have to have these line side barriers. And again, the line side barriers do a great job of providing protection from electric shock. Uh, when you view this in terms of inadvertent contact, so as you're servicing or maintaining load terminals, your exposure to those line side uh, terminals or bus are protected by these line side barriers. And it doesn't in and of itself create an electrically safe working condition. And Jim, you may want to speak to that. Yeah, that's, that's a very key point. These, these devices that, that, that we're using, and you've already seen them in panel boards because it was a requirement, as Chad pointed out, in 2017 for panel boards. It's expanded to all service equipment. But just keep in mind that these devices provide only protection from inadvertent contact. They do not eliminate the possibility of contact. It's What we've done here is we've uh, significantly reduced the likelihood of contact, but we haven't eliminated it. Now we're gonna take a look at the six disconnect rule. There's revisions in 230.71B that significantly modify the six disconnect rule. In the past, you could have six disconnects. You could have six separate enclosures, or we could have, for example, a panel board with six devices, six throws of the hands, and they could all be service disconnects. The general rule is now going to be that you can only have one service disconnect. So, Multiple service disconnects are going to be permitted in 230.71b. Let's take a look at how they're going to be permitted. So service equipment, that's a broad term. It would include any service equipment where there's only one disconnect per enclosure. Then we get into panel boards and you can have more than one disconnect provided there's only one disconnect, one service disconnect in each panel board. Switchboards are going to be permitted to have more than one service disconnect, provided they're separated by vertical sections and separation barriers. Switch gear and metering centers are going to be permitted to have more than one disconnect per individual compartment. So I think, Chad, you may want to speak to those metering centers and the compartmentalization. No, great, thanks, Jim. Yeah, metering centers by are compartmentalized by construction in the meter socket area. And with this change to the 2020 NEC, you're gonna see also compartmentalization of each service disconnect so that you can have more than one service disconnect uh, in a meter center enclosure. You know, I think that as we think about this change uh, in, in historical practices for such as two service disconnect applications where you might have one for a well pump and one for a, a panel inside, that's really gonna change the landscape here as we move to uh, you know, one single disconnect and then either feeder breakers or other service disconnects that are in separate enclosures. And it, it's a safety driven change. If we, if we continue to allow more than one service disconnect in a panel board, we've got energized bus that is service supplied. So there's, there's no clearing time. If a fault occurs, we've got, we've got big problems there. So this is uh, a significantly uh, safety driven revision. So Absolutely. let me ask this question then. So just for clarification, so if I have six, dis I have a switchboard, if I want six disconnects, I have to have six vertical sections, a, a, a switch independent of each other and barrier it off, correct? That is correct. correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.